In my video I posted the other day, I reported that my EcoFlow River 3 Plus power station is behaving abnormally. It drains the, the battery faster than usual, as in really fast when the battery capacity is down to less than 30%. EcoFlow support recommended that I should conduct SOC calibration, SOC, state of charge, the process of charging and discharging batteries. And I did it. Here's the result. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing super tanks. Wow! EcoFlow support recommends to do SOC calibration 3 to 5 times to achieve the full potential of new batteries. You need to fully charge the battery at 100% first and set no discharging limit or charging limit on the app. I have to use 200 to 300 watts of appliance to operate on the River 3 Plus continuously until the unit shuts down and repeat the process up to three or five times here on the ecoflow app you can see that my river 3 plus is charging up to 100 percent as required for the soc calibration again i set the charging uh, limit on the app to zero to 100 percent meaning there's no limit for charging and discharging this is to ensure that the battery will be fully charged and also will be completely drained out the charging for now is uh, both by my uh, ac outlet and my uh, solar panel it is only a messly 12 watts uh, due to um, cloudy skies and also i'm only using the uh, 45 watt uh, foldable uh, solar panel of ecoflow I only have two appliances at home that could run over 200 uh, watts to 300 watts for several minutes or an hour without getting uh, damaged. First, my uh, Hamden uh, Rains Hood, which is about 218 watts, and my uh, Vivi dish dryer, which is uh, over 300 watts or about 300 watts. So I'll choose my uh, disc dryer for the battery draining test on my EcoFlow River 3 Plus. Let's start. So that's set to one hour. It's 100% charged already and I'm now turning off the charging to proceed with the SOC calibration using my Viumi disc dryer. I have to pull out the uh, solar panel connector from the uh, power station so that the discharging would only uh, concentrate on the battery without uh, charging at the same time. Discharging has already started. The load is about 333 watts. That's from the bulk of which is from the disc dryer. And I have connected a, uh, an electric fan that's about six watts. So a total of 332 to 333 watts only. The battery is almost exhausted for just about um, 49 minutes with a load of 336 watts. So the battery is now completely uh, drained. The power station is now off. So I'm going to recharge the power station again and do the SOC calibration again and recharge again and for the third time do the SOC calibration so recharging is now resumed um, recharging is slower than usual at only about 175 watts over 150 watts from AC and over 20 watts from solar panel this is only half of the usual charging speed which is at over 300 watts if I check the speed limit here you can see there I did not touch it the usual maximum settings at 640 watts 
maybe the slow charging is uh, due to the calibration uh, process. So let's observe. This happens after the second discharging. So when the device or when the power station was completely off, I turn on again the AC charging when it came back and this is the result. It has an overload error and some uh, signs there. Okay, there are so many uh, symbols there including the temperature. On the app, this is what the uh, error is all about. It says here battery charging high temperature protection. Then uh, the recommended action is stop using the product, move it to a well ventilated place and keep it away from heat source. The error message will clear when the product's temperature falls to normal levels. If the problem persists, contact EcoFlow customer service. Okay, let's wait for the temperature of the battery or the power station to cool down. It took a while for the power station to cool down and uh, it's just restarted. You can see here the capacity is uh, about 2% and charging is slow again, only at about 160 watts instead of 300 or over 300 watts. Again, maybe this is part of the uh, SOC calibration process. This is the third round of discharging. The load at this dryer is about 330 watts. It says here time remaining for the battery to be exhausted is 49 minutes. The power station's battery is only 286 watt hours so it really cannot extend to an hour if you put a load like this. The third and my last attempt to discharge the battery is done. I think I committed a mistake during my attempt to recharge the power station for the third time because I immediately turned on the AC charging right after the second discharging process ended. At the time, the battery was still hot because of the over 300 watts discharge rate by its load. I should have waited for a few minutes for the battery to cool down before recharging again. So this time I waited for several minutes before recharging again the power station and it works fine it's now at three percent after three rounds of charging and discharging let's check the result of our soc calibration i did not extend the calibration to more than three times ecoflow support says the calibration may be done in three to five times but i believe in the saying twice is enough for a bright person i did it thrice already I don't want to be dumber. So where's the result? So the unit was discharging only 10% of its capacity for about one hour and a half. But just two minutes later at 2.54 p.m., the battery suddenly went down to 29%, then 28%, then 27%, 26% in less than a minute. By 2.55 or just a minute since it started draining fast, the battery was already at 20% level and I received the battery level warning. Two minutes later, the battery was already at 10%. I connected back my usual load to the River 3 Plus after three rounds of SOC calibration and here's what happened until the battery reaches below 30%. The load is 30 watts, almost similar to my test before the calibration. From 30% capacity, the power station is discharging 1% every 4 to 5 minutes, not 2 minutes or seconds only. Unlike the previous test that it took only 3 minutes to drain the battery from 30 to 20%, this time it's over 50 minutes before the battery was down to 20%. When I recharged the battery again, the charging speed went back to normal, over 300 watts already. As a usual practice, I turn on the AC charging when the battery reaches at 20% level. So the SOC calibration works and you should do this before using your new EcoFlow power station or any power bank of sort. 
EcoFlow is not stating this in their manual. It should have had done the SOC calibration before shipping out any of their power station in the first place. If you have questions, please comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.